for some parishes it would be a miracle. I think for us it is who we are. A nearby church suffered heavy damage from that explosion, but they are working hard to clean it up and get back on their feet. NBC4's Dan Perlman is with the pastor there today. He has good news for those who attend that church. Right, Dan? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you can see it for yourself. The window still boarded up here at St. Dominic, but much like the neighbors who live in this area, the parish is bouncing back. As we chatted outside, originally what it looked like was it was a big square window right here. Dwayne Dobbins showed me the damage to his home, and we also discussed the church across the street. I just recently attended there um, two Sundays ago. St. Dominic was that church rocked by last week's blast. It looks like a bomb went off. The century old stained glass windows shattered, doors unhinged. Father Joshua Wagner telling me the damage roughly half a million dollars. But here we are four days later. We're going to be back in the saddle this Sunday. Now knowing mass will resume this week. I'm optimistic about the future of everything around here. The church is not the building. The church is the people who fill it. And the people, men like Dwayne across the street. Are you going to be there on Sunday? Yes, sir, I will. Plan to attend, lending a hand. If you need any help cleaning up any more things around in the church, I'll come in and help you guys. If needed. And Father Wagner did tell me right now it's just a matter of waiting to find out how much of this damage will be covered by insurance. As for mass, it will be at 8 and 11.30 a.m. Local for you in Columbus, Dan Perlman, NBC4. Thanks so much, Dan. And